You guys better stick around. I could get wet here. G'day guys, it's Justin here from All Things Outdoors here on YouTube and this is episode 3 of the pontoon boat build. As you can see right there, it's actually floating. And we're afloat. That was unexpected. Thought for sure I was going to get wet. So we're pretty much afloat. Um, as far as I can see from this vantage point, I've probably got about, oh, I'm actually surprised. I've probably got about four or five inches of clearance um, uh, to the deck from the water, which uh, I thought I'd be a lot closer to the, uh, the actual water itself. Um, you can see down there, I've got a 20 kilo, or what was a bag of cement, um, that I'm using as ballast. Because that's actually where my outboard's going to go. So I figured um, that I'd actually put that there to simulate what the, the outboard's going to be like and how it's actually going to ride with the outboard attached to the back of it. So um, it's actually pretty, pretty stable. Um, I'm actually liking it so far. So. Let's go for a bit of a paddle and see what it's like. One thing I'm a little bit wary of, I mean, I'm sitting in a fairly calm uh, river right now, which is fairly flat. Um, it'd be interesting to see what it'd be like uh, in choppy conditions um, when it starts to rock around. I mean, like I can stand here and rock all day and it uh, feels pretty stable. But, um, it'd be interesting to do some, uh, some trials in a, uh, in a choppier setting in, in, in bigger water. So we'll have to uh, do some of that a bit later on and see how it goes. On the whole, I'm really happy with it. It'll be interesting to see how it uh, uh, motors along under power with the outboard on the back, um, and to see if like the, the nose rises up or it dips down, and, and how it how it goes along under power if I'm actually moving around on the vessel at the same time. That will actually be the the real test of its stability. How it goes under power with movement with chop uh, in un, un, in open water, that sort of thing. Um, with other boats around, so uh, we'll make that a part 3.2 perhaps um, of the, the float test, but I've got to say I'm a little bit surprised I'm, I'm actually really happy with how it's going, like I'm standing here chatting away with, with you guys, um, not worried about falling over or anything like that. I reckon it's going to be a really stable uh, casting platform for fishing. So look out for plenty of fishing videos from the pontoon boat. One thing that I have to watch out for though is it's got these little, see the little vent holes it's got on the front of the pontoons there. And if I go over into the corner, it actually dips below the surface of the water. So uh, I may have to maybe put some sort of non-return valve or something on there uh, to stop it from sucking water in and eventually taking on water. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, hit up my channel, All Things Outdoors. There's two other videos on the pontoon build, as well as fishing videos, kayaking videos, camping videos. There's also a series there on renovating a Chesney President caravan. So hit me up, like and subscribe, and check out my other stuff. See you guys, have a good one.